What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to episode 4 of KSP. We're back at it again. I've been watching some Scott Manley, so I feel like I, I know I know how to play. I'm, I'm a new person. I'm a better Kerbal. <laughs> a Kerbal controller, I guess you could call me. Okay, so we have a little bit of money in the bank. What we're going to do first, before we do anything else, is we're going to uh, upgrade that. And then, since we need science to get some other good stuff, like I've, uh, this apparently is pretty good, I hear. Uh, so are some of these... Other things that I completely ignored on my path to electrics. We need to get those. And one way to get those is to cheese it. Say hello to the cheese mobile. And the reason I call it, <laughs> it's rolling backwards. The reason I call it the cheese mobile is because one of the things about space engineers, which I learned from Scott Manley and also from all you guys' comments who are saying the same thing, you can actually grab science from all of these buildings. They each have their own little science area. And in addition to that, every single biome on the planet has its, like that right there has a different biome than this which has a different biome than the mountains, which is a different biome than the shores, which is a different biome than... You get the idea. So you can cl gather new science from all of these places, which I did not know. Uh, so we're going to do that. <laughs> we're cheesing it. Why is this thing here, by the way? Because apparently we can do EVAs as well, which is kind of cool, and you can get more science that way. So basically, we're going to get a lot of science from doing stuff. So let's, uh, well, let's do this first. I'm going to launch it a little bit. Let's make sure we can actually go. Okay, so we don't want to go that fast. We're pretty much just going to go over in that direction and gather some uh, some of the science. This is essentially just a little science rover that doesn't use wheels to drive. It uses, uh, it uses the power of a thruster. So, yeah. Let's head on over there. And be very careful on this, uh, on this downhill. Because it's super sketchy. Cheese, 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 cheese. Cheese, 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 cheddar, cheese, 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 cheese. All right, we're almost to the little pavilion that is the. I don't remember what that is, but we're almost to that thing. Let's make sure we can actually get up this hill. And come on, yes. Oh no, make it up, make it up. Ah! Use the force. <laughs> it's having a little bit of trouble. Okay, get up there. And go back down. Okay, so we should be in a biome right now that has some of the science. So let's go all the way down here. Put on our brakes. We can actually click this to keep it on permanently. And then we can start doing science. So the first science we're going to do is the mystery goo. Let's see what we get from that. 2.7 science. Coolio. Then we're going to do a... Uh, thermometer reading which gives us some more science then we're gonna do a barometric pressure reading which gives us some more science then we're gonna do one of these bad boys a materials bay which gives us more science then we're gonna do a crew report which gives us you probably guessed it more science then we're gonna do something crazy you ready for this boom we're outside now this is a, a Scott Manley trick from what I heard we can do an EVA report from here and it says oh I guess it only worked on his but not mine but basically, like, what he was doing when I was learning is getting, like, somehow EVA report from above the administration place because he wasn't attached to that, but I guess that's patched. It's all good. Let's remove our helmet because we don't necessarily need it. Okay, so what we can do now is we can, like, collect the uh, experiments so we can take the data from all these things right here, uh, collect the data, and we can basically keep doing that. Yeah, that's fine. If we had a scientist, we could actually, like, reset these things, but our scientist died a long time ago. So, it was a very sad thing. We're going to take all the data from all these. Coolio, we should be able to actually move. Or maybe I have to let go. Boop. Yeah. We'll take the data from this as well. Collect that data. Okay, cool. Are we falling? I feel like we're falling very slowly. Let's get a little closer to the barometric pressure one. We'll take that data as well. Now that we have all the data, we can store it in there. So now it should say, yeah, yeah, okay, so we have six data stored. So let's hop back in here uh, by grabbing that and then hopping back in with B. Then we're good to go again. So what we can do now is go to another building, like literally over there, and we'll have more science that we can collect. So off we go into the wild blue yonder. Oh, please don't. Okay, yep, that was a bit sketchy. I didn't realize that would be too uh, lower than it was. Okay, so we're going to go over next to this building right here, which is, I believe, the one we just upgraded. No, no, that's over there, I think, actually. What is this one? 
Maybe the administration building. Okay, let's hop out and do this. Well, we don't have to hop out first, we'll do, but we'll do the same thing. So observe the mystery goo, get a little bit of science. There we go. Do this one right here, which we only brought two of, but we probably could have brought more. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't need to do another mystery goo, but we'll do another thermometer. Cool. Then we'll do the pressure data. Cool. And in fact, we have duplicates of these, so we probably don't even need to grab the science. We can probably just keep going uh, without grabbing it. So let's just go to the next one, which is going to be... Are those different buildings? I feel like those are the same building, but we're going to go over there. Okay, let's do the thing again. Get some mystery goo. Cool. Get some get some of this. Awesome. Okay, so this is the last one that we're going to do uh, for now because we're running out of stuff. But uh, So we'll get this one, and then in the future, if we ever need more science, we can probably get the hangar. We can probably get that building, and then we can get this one as well. And I think that might be it. But yeah, so we have three more that we can get in the future if we ever need it. So if I'm like dying for science and you guys remember that and I don't, Tell me. <laughs> okay, we can recover the vessel now. Let's see how much science we get. How much of that good, good science? Woohoo! That's a lot of science. 56 science. So imagine if I were to, like, I could do that in that area, that area. I could do that everywhere, pretty much, if I wanted to cheese it. But uh, that's kind of cool. A good way to earn a little bit of, of, uh, of science here. Okay, so... We don't have enough money to do anything upgrade-wise. We have enough to go, like, on a launch. You know what? I think we should probably try to get the satellite up. Because I said we were going to do that last episode, and I completely failed. So I think it might be a good idea to do that. But I'm going to grab Advanced Rocketry, because uh, it's got some goodies in there. Uh, the Terrier is a good good. And this, as well, will reduce the number of parts we're using. And then I can't grab anything else. But I would also probably want to grab... What is this? It's a larger decoupler. Maybe I don't actually... Well, struts probably nice. Some of you guys were telling me struts are really good. So, uh, and then this one will give us more more of that, uh, more good stuff, more goodies. Okay, I think we have pretty much everything we need for now to get something into orbit, to get a nice little satellite up there. So let's go ahead and try that. Do we have actually something we can do that involves that? You want to test the terrier? Splash down. Eh, I don't want to splash anything down. Position a satellite in equatorial orbit. And you'll give me lots of moolah for that. Four, 14 million meters? Do you guys think we could do that one? <laughs> we actually don't have the uh, planning of maneuvers, so we probably can't do any of this until we get that. And in order to get that, we have to upgrade the tracking station. So we need a little bit of money. But let's just do a standard launch, I guess. We'll just launch an, an or, uh, a thing into orbit because that'll be fun. And then maybe after we do that, we can set our sights on the moon, um, which would also be fun. What is this? Whoa, I didn't even realize I had this. <laughs> Did I just get this? I didn't even recognize that that was there. Okay, uh, so since this thing is... We don't have, like, the rolly thing yet. So one of the things I was looking at earlier in the, uh, in the research was, like, a, a thing that allows you to roll your craft using power instead of using an engine. Uh, and I don't have that quite yet. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put we're gonna put solar panels on all sides of this, uh, just so that well, all, all sides but one, just so that pretty much any way it's looking, it's gonna have sun, so it doesn't run out of power. I think that'll be a a, a, a grand idea. All right, I think we're ready. <laughs> we're doing something a little different uh, that I've learned might be better. For this particular thing. We're not going to bring all the fuel and stuff that we normally would with the, the two giant solid fuel booster things, which hopefully is going to cut out a lot of problems as well that I was having with those things not, not turning like I wanted them to. But uh, we're going to put this thing into orbit, hopefully. It's uh, super long. It's pretty much got two stages. It's got the one stage that's going to get it up there and then the one stage that's going to get it into orbit. And then, of course, it's going to like detach everything. All the stages, I think, are correct. Let's press T because we should have... Yeah, we should have stability assist with that little cool little machine. Uh, and we don't want to run out of power, which is probably something that I should pay attention to. <laughs> we start with full power, that's good. So, Because if we run out of power with this thing, we, uh, you know, it, it, it's going to, um, we won't be able to control it. So, all right, I think we're ready to put ourselves up there. We're not bringing any science, which is probably dumb. Actually, we should bring some science. Okay, now we're bringing science. I think we're ready. Let's throttle up to max. 
and we're gonna head out to our east as was told to me that that is the best direction okay let's do this three two one launch that's uh interesting Aha, so it appears my thrust to weight ratio is a 0 0.93, which means we don't have enough thrust to displace the amount of weight that we have, uh, which means, how many parts do I have left? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Dang, I need four parts. Dang it, I'm going to need to take my science off. Or, I could take off some solar panels. Or, <laughs> I could just take off the air resistance. Yeah, that's going to work. And let's take off our goo, because it's not, you know, we don't care about the goo. Okay. Um, now, we're going to try to stick some stuff on here. Some solid rocket boosters to help us out. Okay, now we have a couple of added thrusters right here, solid rocket boosters, to help us get into the uh, the zone. Once this thing starts losing a little bit of weight, it should be, uh, be fine to keep going up. Otherwise, hopefully it doesn't start falling back, but we'll see what happens. Turn on SAS. I think we're good to go. And let's head off to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. To the right. To the left. No, okay, I shouldn't play with my rockets that way. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Let's just keep going to the right. We have a little bit of drag up here with this this stuff. Because I didn't I couldn't afford to put the thing on top, but it's it's you know it's cool. Okay, we're we we got pretty good speed here, and we're starting to lose this stuff. Let's get our this thing to show up, because this is probably good information to see. Okay, we're gonna keep kind of going sideways here. And one thing I've been doing the whole time is I've been going up into my until I was at my AP or apoapsis and then like burning sideways. But then like one thing that Scott Manley does is he goes sideways the whole time. It's really interesting. Like he does. Oh, I thought that was my orbit for a second. He keeps going sideways until this pretty much goes into orbit, which is it's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. I thought it was ha like hacks. At least we're going faster, which is a good sign. Especially amidst the um, the scare with the lack of fuel. Could this be the time, I, I, I find myself asking, that we finally make it to an orbit? I feel like I'm way too low. We're going to keep going up at this, at this angle right here. How are we doing on charge? So the thing is, we've got this other engine right here. So once this one finally like loses all of its fuel... This one's going to be way lighter, and it's going to be able to propel us uh, much faster. Oh, we're going through the atmosphere. Please, oh, you know what? That's not good. That I don't have the, the drag. Oh, no. Please don't burn my uh, solar panel. <laughs> How big is the atmosphere? It's up to there, isn't it? Oh, no. Please don't burn my solar panel. <laughs> it's a friendly solar panel. I'm wondering if I should slow down, but I'm also at the same time like, nah. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> Please don't burn it. It's got to get all the way to there for it to burn it. I think we should be fine, though, because it's going up kind of slowly. I could also slow down. Maybe that'll... Yeah, that'll start going down. Okay, don't burn my solar panel, you fool. Okay. We can cut now since we're over 76. Uh, it's still burning, but I think it's fine. Okay, we're almost to our AP. Let's thrust a little bit so we can turn, because we can't really turn without any power. And there we go. Now we're just going to keep burning this way at full thrust until this thing comes out. And once we hear our engine stop, we'll, we'll, we'll swap, because it's about to. And we should be good. PE's at 77, AP's at 112. Dang, we have a lot of force left. We could technically probably make it to the moon if I was good enough to actually manage to uh, to line that up. Where's the moon right now? The moon's right there. <laughs> I kind of don't want to try because we just got, like, here. But we could. We, are, we have accepted the contract. It is here somewhere. <laughs> fly by the moon. We could try a moon flyby. That would be... <laughs> fly a vessel anywhere near the moon to achieve this goal. Are we on... Are we lined up with the moon even? I don't even know if we are. I think we might be. Yeah, we are lined up with the moon, so we could technically try to go to the moon. And the worst that'll happen is we get this weird orbit that's janky and goes like this. Oh man, if we wanted to hit the moon, what would we have to do? So we're here, the moon's there. If I remember, if I remember the Scott, this, this episode is going to be called Scott Manley Teaches Andrew 
via YouTube videos. If I remember the episode, he said, if, it, if the moon's here, you gotta start when you're here. And you gotta burn that one of the ways. <laughs> okay, you know what? We have a lot of thrust. We'll try it. Because why not? So the moon, we have... To... <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> no, no, it'll be easy. We got this. We just have to go around a couple times. Or once, pretty much. And then we can do it. Okay, so we're about on the opposite side now. So we could... We just need to get to about right there. And then we need to start burning that way, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. Unless we want to wait until we're at our AP, which would be more efficient, technically. What I've, what I've heard. But no, I think we've got this. Well, so, yeah, we'll try it. Like I said, the worst that can happen is pretty much that uh, that we end up in, like, a weird, like, super janky orbit. But we're not going to end up crashing into Earth, hopefully. We might end up crashing into the moon. That is a That's an entire possibility that could happen. But, uh, no, I don't think we'll end up crashing into Earth. Okay, so we're about ready to do it. Let's aim ourselves. We need to... We can't... Oh, we can aim. Okay. So we need to aim ourselves toward our... Well, is this the correct way? Hang on. That is the correct way. Okay, so we're going to aim ourselves toward that, and we're pretty much just going to blast off and hope that eventually we see an encounter happen, which is, you know, it, it, the chances are pretty slim, but we'll try it. I want you to stay stabilized to that. We should go full throttle, shouldn't we? So the AP is going to pretty much blast all the way over there. <laughs> How's our fuel doing? We have plenty of fuel. We don't use it very fast. Okay, so AP... That's what we're going to encounter the moon if we do. So this, this should be interesting. And you see what I mean as well? That we're not going to crash into Earth. The worst that's going to happen is we're just going to, you know, do this weird orbit. Because the PE is not going down. It's actually going up. Okay, so we need to be ready. Let's uh, let's actually lower this a little bit. And I don't see a moon encounter. Okay, I don't see a moon encounter. Why not though? Is the question. Let's you know what? Let's go up a little bit more. It's possible that there will be one, right? Or maybe it won't tell us. Like, would it not tell us if there's a moon encounter here? Maybe you need the maneuver node for that. I actually don't know. But what we could do. <laughs> <laughs> Getting even crazier. What we could do is we could try and get over here and see where the moon is and then try and go towards it. <laughs> Which is super dumb. But let's, let's, you know, let's see how close we were. How about that? We'll see the moon start to come up close to us. We're really low to it, so we're not, like, that close to it. Wouldn't it be so funny if we, uh, if we ended up, like, hitting the moon? Okay, so yeah, I did it way too early. I, no, I did it way too late because the moon's not even here yet. It's possible that when we come around, though, we'll hit the moon. Let's just go into, like, full speed and see what happens. So there's the moon. I think we're going to miss it on the way back. Because we, we have this huge orbit right here. But we did try. This is super far. Holy crap. What if we had, like, a min-miss contact? This is min-miss. <laughs> Good lord, the AP just goes insane once you once you do it like this. This is the farthest I've been. Let's go full speed. See how this works. How fast we're going? We're going days at a time. Holy crap! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Where am I? Whoa! Did I escape? Oh no! Oh no! I think I escaped Earth. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I done goofed. We are now orbiting. I think. Yep, we are now another planet. We are orbiting the the uh the sun all right guys i've done it <laughs> you know i said that i said that the, the worst that could happen is we get a janky orbit i did not think that this would happen <laughs> it's okay though because what we can do is we can burn pro retch pro grade and get ourselves back to earth if i manage to get myself back to earth that's 10 coolness points for me oh no no, we're not out of power. Are we out of range? I think we're out of range. Well, that can't be good. Did we get a satellite into orbit? Yeah, but not the correct orbit. And we can no longer control it, pretty much. Okay, so I think I learned my lesson. Can I log... Pre oh my god, I can actually log data here. 
Can I transfer it? I want to see if I can. No usable comms range. We are so far. Wait, where's my comms range thing? Can I get it out? Can I extend it? So I can't actually do stuff. How come I can't, like, turn? Ah! No! <laughs> well, there goes any hope of getting back to Earth. <laughs> well, at least I have this thing. Can I transfer my data? I would like to see if that's possible. Let's transmit data. High gain antenna unable to transmit. Well, okay, so the good news and the bad... We have good news and bad news. The good news is that we're all the way out here. We're in orbit, technically, around... Not the thing we wanted to be in orbit around, which is that. But we're in orbit around the sun now. The uh, the bad news... What is that? Moho. The bad news is that we can't use any of our stuff because we're too far away from Earth. So basically, if we ever want to use this thing again, we need to create somehow a relay of satellites orbiting the sun all the way back to Earth so, <laughs> so that this would be useful. Well, that's a rip. Oh man, it feels so lonely back at Kerbin. The good old space station. At least we didn't like lose an astronaut. All right, what we're going to do now, since I really need those upgrade nodes, as, as we saw just now, we're going to try and get enough money to upgrade this. And technically, since we upgraded this, we could just accept a bunch of, of missions and just grab their money. So, like, you want me to position a satellite in equatorial orbit, which is really far away, but probably nothing compared to what we just did. You know what? We could grab this. It gives us a really hefty advance, and we could do it eventually. How, how long do we have to do it? The duration is five years. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it eventually. Test the stack separator. We can do that. Uh, test the rove max thing in a flight over Kerbin. Why do you want a rover thing in a flight over Kerbin? All right, here we go. This is our craft. Uh, science. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that, that was actually pretty dumb of me. Why did I stick the thing on the thing we're literally going to eject? Yeah, that was dumb. Okie dokie. So step one. Boom. Launch that thing up. That's probably going to come back and hit us. Yeah, that's totally going to come back and hit us. Ah! Oh, we took it like a champ. <laughs> so let's do this. How's our fuel? Okay. I really don't want to run out of fuel. Boom. That should give us that one. And then we need to do the Rove Max thing. Run the test on that. And that should give us that one. Hooray! That's a good science well done. We should be able to get another thing now because we have over 45 science. Or science, as they say. Ha ha! And our funds! Oh, our funds are looking are looking fresh. We can go ahead and grab this. That's going to give us the ability to uh, do magical things. All right, so we have very little money now, but at the very least, we can do maneuvers. So, you know what? I want to end this episode with a moon flyby, because I think we're at the point where we can probably do that. Let's take a look at what we can grab, though, first. Do we really need any of this stuff is the question. Okay, working satellite thingamajig? You, I think we're going to go with. Because why not? What I want to do is I want to put this thing in the orbit around the moon. Because I think that would be kind of cool. Fly me to the moon. Fly a vessel anywhere near the moon to achieve this goal. So we don't technically have to bring it back, right? Yeah, return to... Yeah. No. Maybe? That's two missions. Return to Kerbin. Ah, uh, fine. You want me to return to Kerbin so badly? Freaking return to Kerbin. Okay, we're going to do the same thing we did before. And uh, we have everything set up. Beep, 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 beep. I'm going to throttle up as well. And let's go. Alrighty. First step is orbit. And I think we're a pro at orbit now. You know, we've done it once this episode. We know how to do it. <laughs> Professionals, practically. Let's get ourselves into that orbit. And we're already getting wind stuff. Dang, we're going fast. And get ready to launch solid... Fuel boosters off. They crashed into each other. Nice. Okay, let's uh, let's keep angling ourselves down. Oh, we're starting to lose it a little bit. We're going too fast, I wonder. Or maybe not fast enough. Ha ha ha. Oh, hey, our AP is blue now. That's cool, because we can do stuff with it. Nice. Let's uh, tilt ourselves down a little bit. What's AN? Ascending node. Interesting. I think that's the, like, so you have this. Woohoo! Then you also have one that goes like this if you're doing like a weird orbit. I think that's what the ascending node is. How are we doing on fuel? Let's get that up there. 
We have plenty. Plenty of the fuel. I did cut off a little bit of fuel this time now. I think we're using one less booster. But I think it's still going to be plenty to do what we need to do. Oh, wait. Oh, let's test this out here before we... Okay, yeah, let's test this out here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a maneuver here. And we're going to do this until we have a nice PE showing up. PE that's over what we want it to be over. Oh, wait, we have to wait until they swap, don't we? Okay, PE is over 80. This one's over 90. Awesome. Okay, so now what we can do, I believe, is we can... How do I add the maneuver? This. Okay, I think now what we can do is it'll tell us when we're about to get to our maneuver and we can actually aim at a maneuver node which is right there look at that blue thing it's nice and nice and easy for us it tells us how to do it so we have to burn uh for 32 seconds and i believe that means we have to cut this down the middle so at 16 seconds we got to start full burning if i remember correctly okay Whew. i'm ready my first maneuver <laughs> and we should run out of, no we probably shouldn't run out of fuel actually uh during this uh, maneuver okay full speed and you can see it going down which is pretty cool it tells us how long we have to no wait it, this tells us how long we have to burn for now we're gonna totally run out of fuel see how we have 16 seconds look we timed that perfectly and we can actually even see uh oh uh oh Back to here. Cut that. Go. Okay. Doesn't really matter that we goofed it up a little bit. It's fine. Uh oh. Okay. I think we're good. We can cut that one out. Let's see how the results turned out. It looks like our AP, or our PE is at 79, which is really close to what we wanted it. And our AP is at 85. Awesome. We did our first maneuver. <laughs> I'm proud of us. We've become a, an official uh, Kerbal. Oh, look at that. Look how easy that is. Okay, so it says we have an encounter that we can do right about there. And I'm not sure... Uh, woo! <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how to, like... I think any encounter counts as a flyby. So we can do like this. That'll put us back right here. That's actually not that bad. So we'll fly by the moon. What's our AP? That's our Kerbin AP. What's our moon AP? P. I don't know how close that's going to bring us to the moon. We might crash into it, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, now what do I do? Uh, oh, I don't know what to do. I think I think we're good. I think it's set. <laughs> that's a bad idea. <laughs> I just got this node. Look at this. I can go to the moon and then basically slingshotting would have me like literally just escape the whole area. Okay, let's not do that. I wanted to see how close I could get, but pretty much we want something like this. I want to get closer, but I guess this isn't that far. We'll still see it. I just want... Now if I do like this, we could see it better though. Ooh, that's a better periapsis. The moon encounter. Would we crash into the moon? Okay, yeah, let's do it like this. So we'll be able to get really close to the moon. Not really close, but like close enough. We'll be able to see it. You know, we'll get like launched by it a little bit. It'll be fun. We'll do everything that's cool. And yeah, we pretty much anything I do to this orbit, by the way, only has us burning for like a very small amount. So... That's cool. Let's uh, speed up time a little bit. Speed up the clock. We need to be at about well, at about a minute. We'll stop it. And right there. Okay. Well, time to burn. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's not like everything counts now. It's not like a small mistake would completely screw up our encounter. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. I think we got it pretty pretty perfectly though. On, on this thing so I think we're gonna be fine and we are burning on the correct area as well we just need to not run out of fuel hopefully we don't run out it's the problem I guess it's not a problem because it requires very little fuel to get from the moon back to earth it requires more to get to the moon I believe okay you can see our AP it's getting you know it's kind of exponential how fast it goes up like that
How are we doing on fuel? We have plenty, so it's good. Boop. All right, I think that is good. I think we might have an encounter. We do not. Why, why, why do I need to burn a little more? I guess we'll go down here and we'll burn a wee bit. And I think we did it. It wants us to burn a wee bit more. And a wee bit more. I don't know how exact you have to be on this, but uh, I'm just going as much as it wants me to and following this blue line. Okay, I think we got it perfect. So now we should have a PE that goes somewhere near the Earth, or near the Moon, rather, and we'll come back around to, like, over here somewhere. All right, that's a completed maneuver. I just really hope we don't run into the Moon. That would be interesting. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and warp to here. And we'll go back into this view as well so we can see. Look at the Moon. The Death Star is what it looks like. No. It's coming back up to meet us getting closer oh no what are we gonna do the moon <laughs> so we're not gonna meet it until we're over there and then we're gonna get launched this way it's kind of cool how space does that how gravity works it's just like you're coming over here in your normal orbit and then you hit this and you're like oh detour and i really hope that doesn't crash us into the moon isn't the pe supposed to be the lowest point to the moon that looks very dangerous doesn't that It'll be fine. How fast are we really going? We're not even going that fast. It'll be fine. Let's speed up time a little bit. We'll be able to watch as the moon gets uh, a little closer to us. In fact, we might even be able to do some science from from low moon stuff. Look at that. Ah, oh, she's a beaut. It's huge, actually. It's a pretty big, pretty big thing. Whoa! What's happening over here? Uh oh. Okay. So what's happened? I think is we've transferred into the moon's. Uh, field of influence. So while it looks like we're gonna get launched out that way, I think we're still gonna get launched out over here But it, it's just being weird Yeah, okay, so yeah, it, we were never in a, in a danger of hitting the moon We could actually get a little closer if we wanted to if I start a maneuver right here. Maybe we could do something like this <laughs> Get super close to the moon Again, to orbit. I th but I fear if we do that, we're, we're going to totally uh, end up losing our, our Kerbal. So I think this is fine for a moon flyby. We're going to warp to uh, until we're at our PE, and then we're going to try and do some science. Some science. Where's Kerbin? Oh, it's so far away. Hello, moon. It's been a long time. We should get a lot of science from this, actually, assuming we survive. Okay, we're still warping there. Press slash to cancel. Oh, that's helpful. If, uh, if I want to cancel this. And we're here. All right. That's about the closest we're going to get to the moon this time. What we're going to do, though, is in the in probably in a future episode, maybe even next episode, we're going to try to actually land on that thing right in the middle of that crater. Or that one. Or that one. Ah, this is what Earth could look like if Earth was a moon. <laughs> Splattered with craters. I wonder how many craters have actually hit Earth. Uh, but anyways, we're going to do some crew reports here. Uh, do one of these babies. Then we can do an EVA report. Uh, can we not do EVAs yet? No, we can't. We can't do an EVA report. Uh, but we can do this thing, the Materials Bay, which is a fun one. It gives us 45 science. Nice nice uh, lot of, of science. We can do the Mystery Goo from... Where are we exactly? Are we in... Okay, so we're in high space over the moon. That's why it's, it's uh, giving me so much for this. We can do a Log Temperature, which is going to give us 14. And we can do a... Barometric pressure reading. Awesome. So that's all the science we can do. And what we'll do as well is we'll just we'll just continue to go through this. And pretty much we'll just wait until we're kind of back into our orbit. Can I go to the space center? I guess I'd be able to see it. Let's go. Let's continue. And in fact, you'll see how it's going to look like we're getting launched out that way. But in fact, see how it's kind of pulling us back towards that? That's the moon's influence pulling us in that general direction. And this is going to go right there. It's going to pa right there. Bye-bye, moon. Continue on your way. That's what's so cool about, like, slingshots and stuff, is that this is, like, just a huge object that's going... That looks like a K. <laughs> this, looks, this is just a huge object that's going on its own way, and its gravity can just pull you in its direction. Like, we're here. It's, it's literally pulling us 
in that general direction. So like you'll see in a second, we're going to exit the influence of the moon and we'll be right back on track for our beautiful Kerbin in, uh, thing. Look how fast we're going, by the way. Look how many... Did you see that thing? I don't know where it went. Okay, it was flying around a second ago. I really hope that didn't crash. Okay, no, it's still going around. Look how fast that thing is going. That's how fast we're going on these warps. Look at this. Well, it, it actually went lower because we went back to orbit. But look at this. Look how fast. I guess you can't really see it very well. Yeah, look how fast that's orbiting. That's one revolution around the, around the Earth. That's crazy. Okay, we're going to do a maneuver node right here. Add a maneuver there. We're going to attempt to get ourselves back. Nope, that's not what we want to do. Let's cancel that now. It's, uh, no, it's this one. It's the green one. We're going to attempt to get ourselves back. We need a PE of something like, I don't know, something low. 32,000 PE. That's pretty good. So it's going to kind of bring us back in there, and hopefully we don't completely body slam the planet, which is what the threat is. Because I only have one shoot on this thing, so it's kind of sketchy. Okay, we're going to go and go ahead and accept that, and we will warp to about here we only need to burn for nine seconds see how it's easier to burn back towards earth than it is to burn to the moon okay so now i think if i want to slow myself down a little bit i should be able to burn retrograde yeah okay so i can burn retrograde to kind of slow myself down a wee bit bring that pe down just a little bit before well i can bring it down even more maybe there we go. That's probably fine. Before I uh, I go ahead and lose this, because I don't want this because I have a heat shield in the way, and I don't want my fuel to ignite. So we're going to get rid of that right there. We have a nice heat shield in the way. Okay. Um, I think we're pretty much good. Let's. Uh, I guess we'll speed up time a little bit. Here's the final stretch. Can they do it? This is uh, going down rather quickly. Our ablator. That's our um, basically the material on this, I think. Jettison. Nope. <laughs> we're not doing that. But hopefully that doesn't go down too quickly. Imagine I need two heat shields. Oh, but this is probably the fastest we've re-entered ever in this game. So that's uh, a round of applause. Man, space travel's confusing. It's so weird. Like, when you slow down on this... Oh, okay, so we're starting to revolve over here. So it's gonna... We're probably gonna land... If I had to guess, we'll land in those mountains, which is kind of sketchy. Actually, on second thought, we'll probably land in the, in the crater. Uh, hey! There's the moon. But it's so weird how space travel works. Like, if you're at one place, like your AP here, and you want to go, like, uh, like you want to increase your AP, you can't do it from here. You have to do it from the other side. It's weird. It is uh, interesting. I guess it makes some sense, but you know what? It's, it's still weird. You know what? It might land on the mountains, and that is scaring me a little bit. Because mountains are sketchy. Can I see them? Yeah, look at them. The mountains. Although if we do land in the mountains, I can do an EVA report, which will give us give me even more science. Okay, we're just about out of the heat. Where are we landing? Oh, we're landing in the mountains. Oh my god. <laughs> That's kind of scary. <laughs> Alright, we just need to wait for our uh, our speed to kind of go down a little bit. We want it to go down below, like, what is it, 300? I know below 500 you can do it, but I think below 300 is the preferred. Well, actually, I can't even do it right here. I can do it now, but I think I'll wait until below 300. And we're going to land right smack dab on the mountain. Good planning, Andrew. Absolutely stellar planning. Okay, let's go ahead and launch that chute. And we're going to jettison the heat shield because we want to get as slow as we can here. Okay. Welcome back, heat shield. <laughs> I guess you can hang around for a little while. And where are we going to land? Right on the cliff face. Oh, man. I, I couldn't have planned this any better. At least it's not that cliff face. Oh, man. Could you imagine that whole trip just to land on a cliff face, which is going to send us toppling down to our deaths below? It might actually do that. This is a very steep cliff face. Oh my god. This is sketchy. Oh, this is so sketchy. Oh man, where are those space engineers landing gears when you need them? Boop! Just locked to the thing. Uh, can I do like an EVA? Can I, can I jump out, please? <laughs> I don't trust this. Oh my god. Can I go left? Ah, no. Go that way. <laughs> go that way, you fool. Maybe I could land us 
So, oh my god, this is sketch. Mm, 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 mm. It's okay. It's fine. We lost our science. We lost a little bit of science. We didn't lose it all. If we can just slowly come down this thing. I can EVA, so I can ditch this if I wanted to. And technically, that would that would be returning the mission. But I might also die on the... Oh, no. Oh, my God. I actually can't EVA. I'm pretty sure the EVA thing is on this side. Here, let's... Can I try to... There we go. Go ahead and EVA there. Nice. Can I then... If I let go, what's going to happen? I would like to deploy my chute, please. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess we'll let go. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die, you fool. Don't die. Ah! Uh, <laughs> the airport! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. And a nice soft landing. Oh, I'm glad that thing didn't explode. Ooh, dang! 121 science from that one trip from all of these things. And I probably got some as well from the mission, but I wasn't able to see how much that was. And we probably got some fun. Oh my God, we have so much money. Why did we get so much money? What did, the, what, what gave, what gave us all that money? Uh, let's look at our contracts. So it looks like we got some, no wait, we already did, that was earlier. Uh, recent accomplishments. Okay, so return from the flyby from the moon that gave us 23K plus 11K, cool. Explore the moon, give us 93K. So that's probably where a lot of it came from. And a return trip. Oh, okay. So they were two different things. I probably could have just put the satellite in there and been fine. No. All right. So we did that. We returned from the moon. And now we probably have uh, moon missions. Yeah. Science data from that stuff. Cool. All right. We got a lot of science from that. What can we do with that science? Probably a lot of things. In fact, with the, with the money, I kind of want to do this. But we'll have, like, no money left if I do that. But that's probably what we're going to end up using all that money for. Is that or we can do it for the EVA thing which is cheaper but uh, I don't know I, I do like having an unlimited part count uh, as far as the science goes I think I'll wait for you guys to tell me what I should probably invest in because I don't really know I mean I could obviously go for flight control pretty easily but I wonder if I should go for one of these like uh, space exploration landing some of these cool things so leave down in the comments what you guys think I should go for and yeah i think it's this thing uh the cool orbiter oh it's so cool what with its flying away it's almost got the exact exact same orbit but it's just a little bit farther does that green line mean that it has a connection because if that's the case then uh, i might be able to scan something let us see can i transfer data Oh my god, it's actually transferring data. Wait, do I have control of this thing again? Oh my god, I have control of this thing! But I remember I jettisoned my, uh, my, my other thing. My, um... Is that it? I jettisoned my ability to get back home. But I have control over this thing, which means I can probably position it in a pretty good... I want it to always be able to have the sun. And I think if I do that, since it's in an orbit this way, it'll always have at least one solar panel facing the sun. Oh my god, I can't believe this thing eventually got connection back to Earth. That's funny. It'll eventually lose it again because we'll go way out of the out of the reach, but uh, but yeah, that's cool. All right, this is a good place to end the episode. It's probably a pretty long one. We did quite a bit. We got something into the orbit of the sun, and we went around the moon, which is probably something I didn't think I'd do this episode. I, I thought it would, it would take a couple more episodes, but we got it done. Those maneuver nodes are quite helpful. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, put your comments and suggestions, tips and tricks down in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Kerbal Space Program.